All right, so I'm looking at the back of my Fender Rumble Cab. I've got the back plate off of here. Um, my impedance is at 4 ohms, and that's kind of a problem if I ever want to hook up two of these cabinets to my uh, Hartkey LH500 base amp that's sitting over here. And that's rated at 8 ohms. Which they say running a 4 ohm cab is fine. That's why I got this cabinet. It works. It's no big deal. It pushes 500 watts at 4 ohms. And that's exactly what this cabinet can handle because it's rated at 1000 watts. But that's uh, not your constant. So it's constant ohms is, or watts is 500 continuous. So basically this is a perfect matched cabinet for that heart key head. But the problem is if I ever want to hook up two of these to that one head, then I'm going to fry the head because too much juice will be flowing through it. So what I got to do is increase the resistance. I couldn't hook up two 4 ohm cabinets, I'd have to hook up two 8 ohm cabinets and I bought a 4 ohm cabinet. So after some trial and error with my handy dandy little multi gauge meter thing here, um, I've been checking the ohms on the ohm setting there and right now it sure is at 4 ohms but uh, I ended up taken this little piece of wire right here after I did a couple other things this is the thing that actually worked that got me the 8 ohms um, what I did was if you see uh, I'm not going to explain all the wires here it's kind of confusing looking um, but I pretty much got it figured out it just take me a while to, to explain it but basically see back there I've got a black and white going to that one speaker and then right here I've got a black and a white going to this one speaker, both on the right hand side here. See these ones, they each have four. Now that's because it's uh, basically wired in series, which is paralleled. So, or maybe I said it backwards, maybe it's uh, being run parallel in series. And um, so that's why it's got a funky wiring where you got four on these two and then two wires on these two. But um, basically you see that there's a black and a white. So if I were looking at the speaker like this, on the left there's a black, on the right there's a white. It's the same thing over there on that speaker. On the left there's a black and on the right there's a white. Now what I figured out what actually works is if I remove that black wire over there, which runs over to this one, see? that one little short black wire that just bridges these two speakers I would remove that and then on this one I would do the same thing I would remove this black wire the little short one kind of curls around and goes into the speaker so remove those two and then basically what I would do is hook up that empty where I, where I took off the black cable and where I took off the black wire here I would connect those two right here straight across but bam like that so if I go from here with a black wire to there with a black wire and then these two black wires are gone the ones that bridge in between would be gone then that would give me my 8 ohms that I'm looking for on the cabinet and I would end up having to do that to the other cabinet as well so I would do that to both cabinets and then of course I would want to put a sticker on this that says impedance 8 ohms so that we know in the future that uh, you know if I sell the cab that it's been modded but basically that's it super easy I was starting to kind of lose my mind because I drew me a diagram here of these crazy speakers and it was just like okay <laughs> but yeah that's it so basically what we end up with is one black wire going from here to there with no black wires going in between speakers thanks